I'm Pam Charlesworth. Um, I am a holistic therapist, so that means I do therapies such as Reiki, reflexology, um, organic facials and hopia candling. And I also teach angelic Reiki as well. And I've been doing it for um, about 11 years. People with a long-term health condition can benefit because of the deep sense of relaxation and stress relief that it brings. Um, it can help reduce the stress and anxiety that's often brought on through having a chronic illness um, and thus helping the immune system work better um, and helping the person function better. Anxiety in itself can bring um, a lot of symptoms that can make the chronic uh, condition even worse. So being able to uh, use a, a system such as Reiki to help bring that person into more of a meditative state can help them deal with that condition more effectively. People can f go about finding a good practitioner by a good, a good first place to look is the UK Reiki Federation. Um, they have uh, websites online, they're easy to find if you just pop their name into Google. Um, they um, have a, a list of people in your area, so you can put in your area and see who's, who's around you to contact. Um, not all people are a member of the Federation, but um, you need to be asking if um, this person has certificates to show and maybe a copy of their insurance. It's not unusual for a therapist to be asked for that and often they might have them on display anyway. Um, so don't be afraid to ask. The cost of Reiki can vary in different areas in the country. Um, but on average, I'd say for about a 45 minute session, you're looking at about 25 to 30 pounds. The first time someone comes for a Reiki session, they'll have a consultation with uh, the therapist. They should also explain what will be happening during the session and give the opportunity for any questions. Um, but basically, you will then lie down fully clothed on a therapy bed. If for any reason you can't lay down, Reiki can also be given sat in a chair or in a wheelchair um, and you'll be fully clothed. The only thing you'll take off are your shoes, basically. It's a very non-invasive treatment and you will just, the hardest bit is for you to lie down and close your eyes and relax. Then the therapist will place their hands, normally starting at the shoulders, uh, and then move around um, the body from the head down to the toes. Normally, people would um, have a few sessions and the therapist would advise you, um, depending on the reason that you're going for Reiki, as to how many sessions that might be and the frequency of them. Some people continue to have Reiki on a regular basis because it helps them support them physically and emotionally with life's ups and downs.